question to the Premier. When Labor came to power in 2015, ambulance ramping was 15%. A month before COVID, it was 29%. And today, ambulance ramping is 41%. Is Labor's failure to address ambulance ramping over the past seven years the reason we don't have a pathway out of the pandemic? In relation to ambulance, Mr Speaker, uh, we have had advice that in New South Wales uh, there are time waits of up to one hour. When Labor came to office, there were 91 code yellows in 2015. The year before COVID, there were 287 code yellows. Last month, there was more than one per day. Is Labor's failure to address hospital bed shortages after seven years the reason we don't have a pathway out of the pandemic? We know that there are pressures on the hospital system. Yes, they do experience code yellow from time to time. When Labor came to office, there were 30,000 people on the surgical waiting list. A month before COVID, there were 56,000. And today, it's nearly double where Labor started. Is Labor's failure to address surgical waiting lists over the past seven years the reason we don't have a pathway out of the pandemic? So don't come in here and try to lecture us on health, Mr Speaker. When Labor came into office, 2% of elective surgery patients didn't have their surgery on time. In the month before COVID, it was 6.3%. Now, over 10% of patients get their surgery late. On behalf of all Queenslanders, what has this government been doing for the past seven years to give Queenslanders the health system we deserve? 